Hello and welcome back. Quite excited today I'm going to solder up this memory bridge PCB. Now I was very proud of the first PCB I designed but all the ones where I completely hand rooted I'm probably going to remember a lot more. Now I did put the current limiting resistors for the LEDs on the back just to uh, keep the board neat so let's do those first. Now the two lots of bus outputs I'm going to be doing in blue LEDs. So that needs to be the 4.7k resistors. I did do some experimentation to try and match the brightness. Now, these two are for the green control line LEDs. So I've got 2K on my list of uh, resistor values for the brightness on those. Now I need some pin headers. Okay, that was not planned, believe it or not. Right, so I am using three of the PCBs to hold my pin headers in the right place. Okay, so these control indicators are green LEDs. So the bus display LEDs I was going to have is blue. Okay, so my reliability on these solder joints is way higher than when I started. If you go and look at my early soldering videos, you'll realize that's the case, but still worth checking because I had uh, messed up one of those joints. Now, it's just the remaining passives of these capacitors. So these are the 100 nanofarads. You want one of these next to every chip. realized I've put two of those in the wrong place. These are one microfarads. And this final one I want to put a 10 microfarad on. You notice the smaller 100 nanofarad values are closest to the chips. And when I routed these, I connected the power rails to them with the shorter traces possible. And then the higher values are slightly further away and fewer of them. Don't think that's taken to that pad. Okay, they're all done now. Okay, now we've just got the ICs.
Now, I accidentally got a little bit of solder onto this pin here. So let's try and clean that off. Always just that first pin which is difficult. Though these pads don't extend very far beyond the chips, so it gets slightly more difficult to see whether or not you've properly flowed onto the pad. Okay, in theory, I think that's all of it. Okay, I think that's all good. Right, I'm gonna clear away all my soldering stuff and then we'll uh, give this thing a test. Let's see what we can do about getting this back in. Okay, so here's the memory bridge we're replacing. We've got slightly more functionality on here because we've got the display for both buses. That was getting messy. Pleased to see the back of it. Now I need to get this into here. Right, so into the bottom of the fetch unit we need mem data. We need a slightly longer cable for that. I've got two main bus connections here and one mem data connection, but I need to plug memory into mem data. Because I could plug it all the way in over there. There's the connection for it when it's a PCB there. Okay, so that's all plugged in. That sits there quite nicely. I think that's everything. Okay. Seems to be working, but it did seem to reset a bit. Okay, we are seeing occasional resets there. Though the behavior of the memory bridge seems to be correct. I wonder if I've dislodged something else. Okay, that seems to be working now. I'm definitely suffering from some loose wires up here. So the sooner I get all of this mess converted into PCB, the better. Looks like the memory bridge PCB is working fine. So, success. Well, I hope you found this interesting. Now I've got a bit of space here. I can actually look at uh, adding some of the last features to the pipeline which is the, the big thing that will allow me to start converting that into PCBs as well. 
I do have a question for people actually. I've got the ALU and the pipeline to turn into PCBs and I could do like a whole ALU PCB or I could kind of break it down into modules and have a, a left hand, sorry, left hand, right hand addition and flags components. I think that might be quite interesting. So it will kind of have a similar look and feel to what we've got over here. Although I suspect the ALU and the pipeline will probably fit into about the space that the pipeline is currently taking once we've PCB'd it. Hope you found it interesting. I'll see you again soon.